right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. And to all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. And to all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video. That's where the money's at. Today, I'm going to share with you guys the stocks that I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. If that's something that interests you, you can join me and the other members. The slots are filling up quickly. We're almost at 100 members already over at the Patreon and Discord. We got some smart individual investors over at the Patreon and Discord, and you can become one of them too. We look forward to have you join us. And I'm going to tell you guys a ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list, okay? So I make these chart analysis out of my own gratitude. And over at the Discord and Patreon is where the money's at. And even the second half of every single video. I talk about this all the time. A lot of people drop towards the second half of the video. This was during the chart analysis. This is when I talk about the stock to add to your watch list. Now today, I'm going to talk about a little bit more than that to just share with you guys the experience and what's going on over at the Patreon and Discord. What's the goal? What's the mission? And while the stock market is down, we're here looking for stocks or opportunities that are going up 10 to 30 percent on the day the highest one today gave us 30 percent plus and one of the investors took advantage of it which i talk about as well making over a thousand dollars on the day alone but this is where people actually drop right after when i talk about the ticker symbol to add to your watches because if you're new or you're not aware of it it's okay you just don't know you're just looking for your chart analysis and moving along but you're overlooking where the money's at because these ticker symbols that i talk about you know on the weekly watch list over on the patreon and stuff you're gaining access right to these stocks here on the youtube and because you don't have another five minutes right of your time to go ahead and sit down and just listen through to my analysis and why that stock has potential you're missing out on the money because one of the stocks i mentioned today in the morning i've been talking about over at the weekly watch list on the patreon and even i've mentioned it at the second part of the videos since it was seven dollars and it touched ten dollars today so if you're interested in checking it out staying tuned on in all i ask for is a few more minutes of your time after this chart analysis so sos has actually been hitting newer lows, breaking through every support we've talked about, and we've broken even through some of the lowest points here. I mean, this stock is hitting newer lows by the reason of just talking every single day of this and breaking through this point right here of 425. I think that was super important, and it's struggling to stay above $4. If it gets broken through the support we're about to talk about in just a moment, your next one is 325. And then also up here a little bit closer at 380. But let's look at this closely here. So our support right now, based off the last hours of the day, is 397. If that gets broken through, you want to watch this carefully and see how it reacts between this support and the next support. The closed on in resistance is right here at 409. But that's just the beginning of momentum. The bulls definitely need to break through the 50-day moving average of 429 to get back up and then get up here to 433 and keep on pushing upwards. But before getting to any of these numbers here, the next support that can be created once this resistance is broken through 409 and turn into a support would be up here at 421 to get one step closer to 429 to continue the momentum. So these are the points that the bulls need to break through and they're not guaranteed control by breaking through these supports excuse me, resistance levels and turning them into supports. They need a break through 429 to continue pushing upwards, guys. Super, super important. And pay close attention to the support levels down here and beyond on the downside if the bears continue to dominate. And they've been dominating this chart since April 12th, pulling it down, not allowing the bulls one second to build any momentum upwards. As always, guys, if you learn something new, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to not miss a single video that I post. And guys, stay tuned on in. All I ask for is just a few more minutes of your time so you can see the home runs we hit today and the ticker symbol you won't want to miss because it's going to be the next home run for a swing trade or long-term opportunity. Stay tuned on in. 
This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold in any way, shape, or form. But I am here to enlighten you guys on opportunities that you may overlook or that you actually have on your watch list and forgot about. Stay tuned. So the ticker symbol I want you guys to add to your watch list is one that I've talked about since last week. And I've been talking about it several times actually for almost two weeks now. And I want you guys to add this to your watch list. But before we jump into it, I want you guys to be aware of what's going on in the Invest for Tomorrow community over at the Discord, over at the Patreon. And while the ticker symbols were going down, right, overall in people's watch lists and people's, uh, you know, portfolios and even the S&P 500, while it was down 0.64%, we're over here making 5 to 10% on these days. So while the market's going down, I'm always going to look for the opportunities for us to make money no matter what. We're here to maximize profits and minimize losses, okay? So I'm going to talk about the littlest move. And then we're going to talk about the bigger moves of the day. So this is one that I mentioned, and it was CLNE pretty early in the morning, right? And CLNE was at 1355. So we caught this one right on a dip here, right? Around this area. That was its lowest point right there. And it ran up to a high, right? A few uh, minutes after to an hour of 1426. So this one gave us nearly 5 to 8%. And that's what we look for, right? in the pre-market the rest of the day this was terrible right this got destroyed but that was what we were looking for on the news that came out and a lot of investors that have been in it before were going to get out and not only that you got to think about the investor sentiment of investors that have been in this since way back here and even before that they said you know what i'm going to lock in profits or cut my losses and lose a little bit less so that's why we've took a big hit here for the stock now long term you got to do some research to see if there's opportunity here. But what we worried about was those 5 to 10%. Now, here's our other home run of the day. So, CLOV, okay? CLOV, it was actually sitting close to $9. And I stated, you know, it was a lot better to catch this at $7 when I first talked about it. I talked about it last week. I talked about it for the weekly watch list stocks. So, if that's something that you're interested in and you want to know the weekly watch list that I'm always watching for long term, and swing trade opportunity you can join us at the patreon and you'll gain access to the discord to know the daily watching stocks so clove we went ahead and talked about clove and clove was acting very very bullish early in the morning when i first talked about it i talked about it at the point where it was sitting close to i'd say nine and some change right and it was early in the morning and it was pulling back right it had kind of pulled itself up pulling back to 930s it ran back up to 973 so that 40 cent jump wasn't going to give us much right so i told everyone you know watch these towards the bell so that we know what's the real movement watch them towards the bell so we can see which volume they're getting to understand the stock's direction so it actually ran a little bit so if you caught at the low here of 938 936 it ran up came back down it hit a low here of 951 and took off to 986. So it gave us like 50 cents there. So that was around, I'd say three to 5% if you caught it around that area. And if you were able to stomach the volatility or if you didn't catch in before and you let it drop a little bit and you caught it at 918, this ran up to 1050, okay? Just to round it down in just a matter of minutes. This right here, was a total jump of 10 plus percent almost 15 percent but let's talk about the home run of the day okay and i talked about ambo it's another stock picking up volume and it got a lot of news with amazon partnership and i was talking about how these penny stocks were bumping today because not only was ambo running because of amazon but also clne had jumped because of that now it's currently sitting at 246 needs more volume and as I was typing, it was slightly passing the 1 million in volume, which is what we like to look for. And that doesn't always guarantee anything, but it was a start, right? That was getting us to understand what's up. So we caught this one at 236, okay? So this dipped after a run, it dipped and it pulled back, right? Right here to lows of 242. So we caught this way back here, okay? back at this moment so we caught it at the best dip and we rode it and right there in just a matter of minutes 
it gave us more than enough like in the pre-market i'm not even kidding right there from that point forward there was a big opportunity and it pulled back into the opening of the market close to 237 and it took off to 289 right that's all we look for 10 to 20 percent this stock gave us more than 10 percent on that jump and at the high of the day it gave us beyond our expectations okay way past 20 percent and here are some results of one of the investors and this is where we post our profits and i'm going to zoom these in in just a moment and this was the day trades of AMBO, thanks to Invest for Tomorrow. So to that investor, thank you for pointing that out, giving credit where it's due. But I'm going to give credit to you because you hit a home run today, and that is what we're looking for. That's what I want everyone to do with these positions. So this person went ahead and bought at 3300 and sold at 3600 $300 right there. Bought back in at three. dollars thousand five hundred and sold at four thousand dollars so that right there was a total amount just between those two of almost eight hundred dollars okay and then we have another one here that gave another three hundred dollars this was a thousand dollars in one day in a matter of an hour or two at one thousand two hundred and sold at one thousand five hundred now am i guaranteeing these results every single time no but what we look for is ten to twenty percent to maximize profits, minimize losses. And if this is something that interests you, you can join us over at the Patreon and the Discord. The links are down below and we look forward to have you join us. The slots are filling up quickly, guys. I do want you guys to be aware of that. We're on our way to 100 members and I look forward to you guys joining us. And I have a series to equip you guys and prepare you guys to become better traders at maximizing profits, minimizing losses, and we're out here making money while the market is red. So what's the stock I want you guys to add to your watch list? So this stock has been beaten down really hard, okay? When I first talked about it, I stated that this could fall closer to $15. And if it did, it was going to present itself as an opportunity, okay? I went ahead and talked about that almost a week ago. I mentioned it again. And for the last two, three weeks, I've talked about this one. And this is way below where I mentioned. And Kathy Wood loads up on this one. There's a lot of institutional ownership going up. And this stock will be one of those that's set to explode in the long term. So SKLZ, I definitely recommend doing your research, doing your due diligence. And when you're playing this one, you got to know you're investing in the future, right? This is a new technology that's going to roll out to be more enhanced so it's basically bringing the past to the present and turning it into the future because there's going to be like betting on there and stuff playing games that we know since our nokia phones and since way back when we used to not even have touchscreen phones like regular phones playing bowling solitaire things that you would play on the computer and they're looking to expand so this is a stock to do your research and understand as much as you can at these levels because the opportunities are endless. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get your returns right away, but this could possibly be a swing trade for the next several months, or it could be a long-term play for the next year or two as this company grows. I mean, the company does have to grow. They have some work to do. But like I said, you're investing in the future when you invest in skills, SKLZ. This is definitely a stock you want to add to your watch list. If you want to see the full weekly watch list that I just posted this weekend, join us. The links are down below. I look forward to have you guys join us. We have an incredible group of smart and intelligent investors over at the Patreon and Discord, and you are able to become part of that as well. We look forward to have you join us. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.